This video is sponsored by Icon, the number one custom home builder in El Paso, Texas. For more information, click on the link in the description below. Icon is the way to go. All right, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in. If you are just tuning into this channel for the first time, I'm Chuck Itz with Simply Vegas, the worlds are out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So today we are here in El Paso, Texas. We are here to check out a builder, Icon, Custom Home Builders. We have a move-in ready uh, product. Uh, this one, the asking price is $362,216. It is a four bedrooms, three bathrooms, 2,368 square feet. So let's take a look at this product so this thing is ready to go now I love this uh, design a Las Vegas a lot of custom homes are doing this too as well uh, however I forget the name of this uh, wall right here so if you know that in the comments let me know uh, below in the comments uh, let's take a look at this roof line here Love the uh, roof line. You got the nice river rock. Love this. This is a very unique modern design for sure. Kind of give you an idea of all the lots. So basically, you can build all down here. These are all lots available. You have some nice homes over here too as well but if you guys are in more of the single story home right the modern type of look I mean take a look at this oh we have some almond color uh, windows here which is kind of cool actually matches uh, the house normally I would do the bright white but with the paint looks good also now you're gonna be limited to the interior uh, paint too as well I love the garage door looks like we have the gas line gas line is not hooked up yet you got your water here and this right here I believe this is your primary and secondary line I believe so I could be wrong let's take a look at some of these windows here you got about an inch and a half pop out and the type of paint on here this is very unique huh. it's almost got that uh, little gloss look to it very interesting you got your stamp concrete driveway here and I uh, found out from the builder uh, the foundation these are all post tension slabs and also the interior they spray it, it's actually a spray foam versus batten you got your ring doorbell here but let's take a look at this Okay, let's come on inside. Let's see what we got inside here as we step in. Check this out. I'm just gonna come in, shut this door. Oh, I'll try to shut the door here. Damn, the door's not shutting. There we go. I gotta put some more muscle to it. Damn, check this out. Eight foot door, all right? It's gotta be a 12 foot ceiling on here, an entry. Oh shit, look at this, they threw a coffered up in here. This is like a reverse coffered ceiling. Wow. Actually, you know what? This is a pretty sick design. I just noticed that now, and I do love how they painted it gray to give that accent look. And take a look at this pillars i'm not too sure if these are called pillars whatever they're called but that is gorgeous take a look at this open floor plan guys look at this contemporary look oh snap look at this look at this you got your reverse coffered ceilings but look at the design they flip the color of the paint they did the gray in the inside. Damn, that shit just pops. You know what I would do is throw some LED lights in there and cover it up, man. And it looks like this one is pre-wired for surround sounds. 
Woo! Let's take a look at the flooring. 12 by 24, porcelain tile, 3 16 grout lines. However, um, I like to run them um, a six inch stagger. However, believe it or not, with the design of the, this home, it just flows very well. Let's see here. We got that plastered look on the walls, which is really nice. So these are all built-ins for the TV. Let's see here. Love the uh, Napoleon fireplace. I think that's a 72 on that one. It's a pretty large one. Love the windows here. Great windows. We got a nine foot slide. These are aluminum slides. Oh man, let's take a look at this. Again, let's take a look at our walls. Um, back here is all plain and open. However, if you are interested in this property, you're probably gonna wanna mention my name in the link in the description below. See if we can get you uh, $5,000 towards your closing costs or possibly backyard for your landscaping. They do, the, they do the landscaping too as well, I believe. They did the trim on the ceilings, which is nice. Looks like you got some pre-wire. I don't know if that's for power or your speaker system. That's gotta be power. Love the fact that you have a gas line here. I believe it is the code that you have to have it right there. You can't have it in the inside. Now, one thing that I would do if you're gonna build a home like this, probably put your TV entertainment center right here, have it all pre-plumbed right there. But this one is ready to go. Now, what I like about this is for the price, I don't really know the market out here, but I mean, compared to Vegas, and how they're building the homes. This is a good builder. And again, like I told you on my last video, I ain't trying to gas you all up or anything because that's not what I do. You know I always tell you how it is. So let's take a look at this. See what kind of cabinets we have here. We got some solid wood cabinets. Fully stained and they got some nice side glides here. It should be a soft closing cabinet, I believe. Let's see. Let's see. Bam, son. You got your quartz countertop. What a nice backsplash. I don't know, that backsplash better be sealed, boys. You got the cook countertops. I love the cook countertop here. Stainless steel appliances. And I love the floating shelves here. That's really nice. And I love the lights underneath the cabinets. And also, I love the crown, that modern crown look. Great design, oh, snap. And I believe Carlos was telling me, um, his wife, I think, his, his wife did the, the design on this home, I think. But the interior, he did all the interior. That's what it was. But take a look at this. 360 something thousand dollars right for this home and they're building these homes like luxury homes this home reminds me of a part d style home take a look at this you got the trash all right you got the black cabinets and you got the gray cabinets isn't that cool countertops is very unique I definitely would do a built-in refrigerator with this spec. I do love the can lightings, but I mean, take a look at this architectural design. That's just, you know what? I think this is probably one of my favorite designs by this builder. I mean, they got the farmhouse. I'm liking the farmhouse, but you know what? Based upon the price, based upon the price and the design, very, very impressed. Looks like you got a 
four inch baseboard. Get your Nest thermostat here. Now we have a very unique design with this little built-in right here, which is kind of cool. Now the problem with this is it's very hard to kind of keep that straight edge line. Definitely would tape that up, clean it up, but I get the logistics of this. This is actually a really good idea. Gives you that modern look. However, I wonder why they went, they did the uh, bull nose instead of just straight edge all the way around. But you know what? It actually kind of like blends in together. Let me see if the outside here, okay. So they did the bull nose here, bull nose and straight, okay. So it kind of blends in a little bit. Straight edge with the bull, bull nose, that's very unique. Now overall, there are some things that I would change in here, but I think probably 98% of it, I'm digging. You know what, what is this right here? Oh shit, HDMI. I wonder how come they, they put an HDMI cord here. That's very unique. Here's your one in one here. Definitely, if I uh, spec out this home, I definitely would do cable and power up there for the TV. And I love those windows up there. This kind of gives me that Miami feel. Y'all remember Miami Vice? Okay, so let's take a look at this. We're coming into the master bath. Carpet transitions into tile. Oh, this is a... Very unique. They put a tub inside the shower, right? And you have your shower here, so let's step down a little bit. Oh, I love the herringbone coming up on this. With the glass tile, frosted glass. Oh, even you have the herringbone here with the glass towel here. I don't know if this is just too too big for this space. I think they have the right concept. One of the leading builders that did a phen phenomenal job is Richmond American Homes out in Las Vegas where they did something like this. One thing that I would probably do is a zero threshold right here. However, my opinions don't mean crap. Remember, when you spec on a home, you're really specking it out based upon how you want your home built. I love the floating uh, vanity, which is really nice, okay? Tell me they got some LED lights underneath there. There's gotta be LED lights because it kind of gives that fine touch here. Let's take a look at the glass. Okay, so this is very unique. So they built the glass that's inside. However, if this glass breaks, it's gonna be very tough to uh, replace. You have to break down all that tile, but that's not a big deal. Let's take a look at the vessel sink, which is really nice. So I'm, I'm starting to notice you got a lot of straight edges, you got a lot of round edges. Storage. I love the fact that with this builder, they don't just build a shelf that just goes all the way across. They give you a somewhat custom, you know, closet, which is nice. You can put your shoes, your underwear, whatever you want to put in here. And this is a decent size. We got 10 foot ceilings too. I don't know if I mentioned that. Is this the water closet? No, this is just a closet. Yeah, this is the linen closet. Here's your water closet back here. Okay. Now, I'm not too sure what this is. If you are from El Paso, Texas, and you know what this is, please let me know. You got the low flush toilet.
You know, one thing I didn't mention was that frosted door right there. You, I don't even think they sell doors like that. I think you got to custom make those doors. This is great. All right, let's come back over here. Are these doors painted? Actually, you know what? This is a great idea. I love this color, color scheme. I don't know if you guys can see that. So the trim is white. The drywall is white, right? The walls are white. But then the doors, they pretty much almost look white, but it's a light gray. I love this design, color scheme. Cabinets are very, very short. However, again, it's all personal preference. This has got to do something with plumbing, I bet. I'll have to ask the builder. You got your gas. You know, for me, I would always throw in the sink for add value. Let's come out here to the garage. Whoa. Now, the garage here, a uh, couple things. We don't have a two foot span, but it looks like you still have enough room for two cars. I don't think you're gonna be able to get that big truck. I think these are what, eight foot doors on here. And it looks like we just have a regular um, chain drive versus belt. Uh, it does come down to preference. What I realized with a uh, belt drive, it's a lot more uh, quiet. And I love this. This is the second one I've seen where they built this overhang with the shelves here. Okay. You got your power here. And you got your valet. Love the valet. Put some shoes here, sit down. Okay. Let's come down this side here. Coat closet. You got all standard uh, rocker switches. You got linen closet. Coming into the bath. So the bath, okay, comes into here. Now this is a little bit tight. I don't know if I would have put a wall here, but again, I'm not an engineer or an architectural design designer, so this could be here for engineering purposes. But I just felt like maybe this could open it up a little bit more. But also, it does function. So that way, if somebody's using the bathroom, taking a shower, you still can brush your teeth. teeth. So that way, it services how many bedrooms? One, two, three. Tell me this has a, ba a bathroom. Oh, okay, at least this one has a bathroom. Okay, cool, cool. I see what they're doing here. Now, this is very unique. Normally, you would have a two inch curb or a three inch curb, right? But this one just drops down. I guess this is something that I would have to get used to, or I would just do a zero threshold. But with the zero threshold, it will cost you a lot more money to do that. But I do love the tile work in here and the design. Great idea. Love the frame mirror. That's kind of cool. And they're, they're vanities. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is just kind of like a standard old school one. But the way that they made it nowadays, I mean, just... It just looks good versus just a mirror one. All right, so we're gonna come into this bedroom. Now, I would say like, if you're just a family that's just starting off, right? And this home at this price would afford bedrooms. And if you're looking for something like a modern home, dude, you can't buy anything like this in Las Vegas, I'm telling you. 
And I love the fact that, again, look at the two-tone paint on here. This is a great color paint right here. And also the closet, you don't have a three-foot slider. They have doors that open. And I think this makes more sense. Like, I'm going to tell you this right now. Hey, all you Vegas builders out there, this is what y'all need to do for closet space. This is a better idea versus those damn slides. And real quick, take a look at this. Windows, look how look how big this window is, okay? The other thing is, because this home is ready, look what it comes with already. A lot of times you buy a home, you don't get one of these guys. Oh, talking shit, look, that's what happens. Look at this. Look at this blinds, right? Look at this. You don't get this. This already comes with it. Wow, I love the windows. That is a gorgeous window. You got one light. Hopefully I could be pre-wired for a ceiling fan, which is I don't think so because you only have a two rocker switch here. Unless you get the one that has the remote. You got one light here too as well. And I love these windows right here on the side. Let me show you this window real quick. Carpets are nice and plush. This feels like an eight pound pad. Look at those windows, man. Love it. Oh, this one don't got blinds. However, just mention that you've seen this video. You buy this home. See if we can get you that $5,000 incentives. You can use that towards your blinds. Seems like they're doing floating vanities. There's a little things that need to be touched up, but I mean, remember this this home right here, there a lot of people are walking in and out of this home because this home is for sale, but they're doing a lot of open houses and open house too as well. There's a lot of open house going on here. Matter of fact, when we got here, somebody was looking at this. Let me just show you this again. Because you know what? This is the selling feature of this home. Okay. And my favorite part of this home is, look at this, the coffered ceilings, right? That is just gorgeous. It's that, and this coffered ceiling, look at that. That is just sick. Well guys, if you are interested in purchasing a home or even building a custom home, Please, support this family business. They are such a great family and the team, the team is a cool team. These are the kind of people that you wanna hang out with and support these people. I mean, they're such a great company. And normally, I don't, uh, you know, sponsor people or, you know, hook people up. But you know what? Meeting these people, they're just like, they're like the tightest unit ever coolest dudes ever so click on the link in the description below i will have a link to their website so that way you guys can get more information about this company so if you are planning on purchasing a property here in el paso texas right and you want to build a custom home this is the builder that you need to build with especially with all that money you're going to be investing into a home other than that thank you so much for tuning in guys i'm chuck it's with Simply Vegas, realtor out in Las Vegas, Nevada. Peace.